I'm never hungry, but when I'm hungry, it's time to eat. Oh my gosh, do you guys. Oh my god. That's, ah, I think we have something here. I think we have something. Did you something. guys buy a t-shirt? <laughs> go team, go team E. Well, you know, here's Auntie. The, Auntie. I'm never hungry. But when I'm hungry, it's, it's time, time to, to eat. eat. <laughs> it's really good. Did you make that up? No. Sunday and my aunt is here. Uh, no, over at our house. Hold on, this, I've got David on the other one. Hold on. Oh man. Um, and Hello? I've been up for like an hour, but she's here and we're gonna get an hey. update on how she's been doing. I didn't see her last week, so I will keep you guys informed. But she's on the phone right now, so I'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys, guess who's here? No, boy. I like how you're wearing a Bud Light shirt. That's all I can see. I'm not even showing your face, I just see Bud Light. <laughs> It's, it was cool. It's a cute um, I see she has the bag I gave her. You guys, this used to be my old cooler bag. It um, works. I used it every day for like a year and a half. So, anyway, she's here and I have not seen her. I didn't see you last week. We didn't even talk last week because I had all these uh, things all on Sunday. So, I and didn't. I was even, a big girl. You didn't even call me or anything. No, so, I, I am like really excited to hear about what is going on. But first, let me drink my coffee and I'm going to cheat because. I've had oatmeal for the past two years, and today, I don't want it. <laughs> well, I want a cup of coffee, too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, we have, um, here. Yeah. Well, no, you get to pick your mug. Oh. So this is the mug tree of inspiration, and you get to pe pe peek, peek which mug you want. <laughs> um, oh, wow, I like oh, let's this. See. Actually, there might be a an inspiration mug in here, too. Oh, this one. One is dirty. No, I, I, I want the. <laughs> You're gonna pick the don't forget sriracha. your sriracha mug? because I don't ever forget it. Okay, well, would you like some caribou caribou blend? What is wrong with me? I, I need to eat breakfast. I just office. want regular coffee. Yeah, it's like, just regular coffee. This is, you know, I it's the caribou it. blend. Right. That's, that's all we got. Fabulous. How come your thing is red? Because I thought it was cute. Hmm. Anyway, so we haven't seen you. And we, I say we because everybody's asking about you and wants to know how you're doing. Um, so, yeah. I tell me, I, tell me. It was great. It, it, I, you know. Um, Do you go grocery shopping? I went to the store, but I didn't have to buy as much. I yeah, because so you much. have, yeah. And I, and I decided to use some of the frozen veggies, you know, so that I just get them out. What I found is because I'm home more than you are. I enjoyed cooking my breakfast every morning instead of making it or instead of right. making the egg muffins. I just, I just found that it was better if I just got up a little bit earlier, made my breakfast before I went to work, and then I you're just gonna find your lunch. own thing. Yeah. And and it worked. And so um, you know, I just packed my almond butter and my rice cakes. I'm out of rice cakes, and um, I found that. I do better if I make the food ahead of time for the rest of the day. It, yeah, well, it, that's... I didn't do it one day and it didn't work It's out a disaster. Well. It's a disaster. Well, it's not a disaster, but it's... It's just you're off your game. I'm off my game. And, and then, you know what it is? It's not even the food. It's your mind, huh? Yes. Well, the thing is that I'm, I'm very busy at work. I'm very stressed. I'm very... Stre I, it's a very stressful... Who are you talking to? Healthcare reform? Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, real estate. So, anyways... I'm, I'm delivering 60% increases. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, you know, it, it, and when you have that and then your food's not ready and you don't have your water next to you. Oh, I didn't drink water all day on Friday. And I do the same thing. Don't so don't what, think that I don't do Yeah, it. so what happens is it, it, it throws you completely. So I guess Monday we could sit night, down for a second. Monday night I came home and I said, okay, this ain't going to work. So then I made my lunch and I made my meals. And you know what? Uh, Tuesday was much better and uh, it was just... You know, but you know what I found? My body, if I don't feed it, my, I don't even need to know what time it is. Anymore. No, it'll, your body will tell you what time My it is. body tells me when it's 11. And, and then you're starving. I'm starving. You're crashing. But I'm not. You know what you I'm going to do? I'm going to do what you should not do, folks. And that is eat a Quest bar for breakfast. Because <laughs> Sprouts has Quest bars now, by the way. What? They sell Quest bars. Yeah, I just picked, um, picked one up. So I'm gonna eat that because I just don't, I don't wanna. Anyways, um, so do you have your journal? Uh, yeah, hold on. 
Let me just respond to that. Yeah, so I picked up a um, cookies and cream quest bar. And that is what I'm eating for breakfast, folks. Because you know what? That's what I want. Oh, you know what else I picked up? Actually, that's what else I want. <laughs> What's that? I've been trying this thing this week where I'm gonna eat whatever I feel like having. Nothing crazy, I'm not talking like bad stuff. It's just I went in the grocery store and there were things that I saw that I wanted that I haven't had in like two years. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have it. I want seedless grapes. And it was like putting sugar in my mouth. Like it was yes. like a, it was delicious. And you know what? I was totally fine with it. Because it is like sugar. But it's good sugar, you know what I mean? like it's fruit. I want some fruit. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to eat some fruit. And that's what I'm doing. I remember buying this little baby Tupperware back in the day, you know, and look at what my little pitcher, and this is what I carry my cinnamon in for, for in my bag for, you know. Oh my gosh. I know it's a little pitcher. Are you, okay. So remember how you were like, Oh, I don't know. I don't really eat cinnamon. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Has cinnamon, isn't it like uh, yeah. It's like you can't live without cinnamon. I, I have to have cinnamon. <laughs> I, it's, it's in my bag. <laughs> it's in my bag and it's got, you know, it's got my little uh, Tupperware things of almonds. Oh. Emergencies. I've got my bar. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I figure in the case of an emergency, break it open. Hello? Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, you're so good. No, We're no, you're good. Her you're diet. good. There's, we only need I'm gonna so start much. Taking it's perfect. What you did is great. A little bit perfect. out of there, um, but I want to see how she's doing on. Um, okay. What she's perfect. eating that's not on plan, and wait, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna drink my coffee. So check it out. Oh, it's gonna be all. Look at you. Some serious writing in this journal. <laughs> well, a year from now. Yeah. No, I told you. Yeah. No, that's really I, good. I, I, I'm writing dumb stuff, but you know, it's actually. Listen, I have a blog. I write it, and it's public. Yours is just private. Oh, no, I'm not public. No. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> As I'm I, filming you <laughs> for the public. Well, sort of. But you know, um, I, the week, you know, since I, you, I didn't see you, so. I didn't make my egg white muffins, but it's I again I told I taught you how to make them so you know when you go on a trip when you know you're gonna yeah. be gone for the weekend. Like when I go on vacation, sometimes I'll make them and then take them with me because they're easy. I can throw them in the microwave. I can't. How where are you gonna get egg whites? You know, right. unless you're going to a restaurant or it's an option. It's an option, yeah. And so yeah, so I decided that I I don't do a half a cup of oats. I do a third cup. I do a third cup of oats, a third cup of egg whites, and a third cup of blueberries, and it works great. Perfect, that's what a I do. A third cup, third, 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 and it, it works, and um, with the blueberries, I don't even have to use that sweetener because the blueberries are, yeah, they're just in the freezer, I get, I have my little routine, I, you just gotta find the damn bowl that doesn't overflow in the microwave for the stupid oh, oatmeal. See, we don't use the microwave because ours is broken, so we cook it on the stove. Uh, yeah, no. So, um, I just have to, you know, it took a couple tries and a couple of messes, but, you know. Um, and, oh, and I, I, I love sardines. And I know nobody else does. No, I love sardines. I, I love sardines, and, uh, so... Were those ones from Sprouts good? Mm -hmm. The Crown Prince. Not, I don't, I, the other ones, uh, I like the ones at Costco better, but... Yeah. Um, and the ones at Costco are ate for dinner because I completely soaked out all the oil because they're packed in oil yeah that's the only but thing i didn't have, have any to... other oil that night so that whatever was left over because they were kind of dry was i figured that was you know i didn't have fat the rest of the day but you know what's helped and i even wrote it down in my journal what's helped is knowing the substitutions and the variations mm -hmm. yeah so like if you don't feel like having olive oil in your salad but there's oil on your whatever uh, sardine and I soaked it all out. I mean, like, or there, you didn't have any oil that night. And you wanted to put some peanut butter on a thing. Then yeah. I find that the peanut butter and the rice cake I'm getting used to. It, at first, it was like eating chalkboard, but now it's gonna become your favorite treat. It is actually my favorite treat. <laughs> the, I like the flaxseed. Um, yeah, that one's good. It does have more. Like, listen, you you're doing this for a year, mm -hmm. so this isn't like right. 
those flaxseed, um, the brown rice, rice cakes, those are my favorite. The problem is, is they have like twice as much carbs, twice as much fat, twice as much calories. But we're talking about very minimal. minimal. It's good stuff. Right. So I'd rather see you eat that than be hungry later. Oh, yeah. It, it works. It really... Uh, and what she's talking about, you guys, I actually just got some. Oh, and look, they have new ones. What? At Sprouts, I saw them. But they have cinnamon toast organic, the brown rice. Oh. Well, those would be good. I've never had them. I just got them. See, if they had the, if they had the a little bit more flavor, those other ones, the plain ones, I don't know. Well, you will... Um, I mean, break in case of emergency, that's fine, but otherwise... <laughs> well, it's... I know. But it's my favorite treat. As you go, you know, and as you want to start leaning out, and, you know, that's further down the line. Uh, I took uh, cod, because I, I told you I had fish already, and I took the, the Alaskan... It's wild Alaskan cod that I got at Costco. Yes, no, I get the same one. And, Actually, I think um, I and the see. portions are... Um, Let's see if I have it so I can show you guys. Oh, I forgot I have turkey. That's good. And I found... Um, yeah. Yeah. This one, you guys. Mm -hmm. Wild Alaskan Pacific. Our cod. family shops at Costco, so I always know what she's talking about <laughs> when she says Costco. <laughs> um, what I have to do is I have to buy a food scale. And in yeah, the absence we need of to a get food you scale, a scale, what I've been doing is I am using the palm of my hand as the portion. That's good, but you know what? We do need, need to get scale. you a scale. Because here's the thing. The scale, everybody says like, oh, a couple ounces isn't going to matter. No, but a does. couple ounces, six times a day for matters. a year, matters. It's like if you're trying to lose, if you're trying to maintain, it's fine. It's not a big deal. No, but. I, I, I know I, I need a scale because either you're overdoing it or you're under. You're maybe like cheating yourself. Well, the thing is, remember I told you, everybody thinks, well, I'm just going to take away. No, it doesn't Taking work. away, unfortunately. I found out it does not work. It does not work. And it also screws you up. It's more your mind that gets messed up. I know. Because then in your mind you go, well, I did take it away. That means I can have a little extra tonight. And then you end up having more than you should have. I, I swear to God, it really does feel like there's a there's a couple of brass in the bottom of my stomach sitting there saying, no. what? this is my food. Yes. Where, this yes. is how I feel. So I did okay, but I think I'm, I want to, you know. Yeah, we're going to. So I want to talk about the not okay. Oh, I had lots of the salsa. The variation. Oh, isn't that salsa good? Okay, Jim's in love with it. Oh, it by becomes the way, your dressing. Bite. I put it on my salad. I put it on everything. I put it on everything. Yeah. I put it on top of. We're my, talking about. Let me show you. <laughs> I put it on top of my bland sardines. We're talking about this salsa right here that I get from Costco. Um, I mean, any salsa is good, you guys. Um, any salsa is good that you get, but that one just seems really good because it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like the jar. I, I put a teaspoon of salsa in my egg whites in the morning. Yes, I love. I put a teaspoon of it in my bland whatever the afternoon. Um, not a whole lot, just yeah, just enough because it's very spicy. It, it two tablespoons is like a serving. Right, but I'm only like a teaspoon. So by default, uh, my husband is in the way. Well, he, that's what happened to Adam. By default, because at night, what do I cook him? The I same cook food, him yeah. the same food. I'm cooking only. I, I make his a little bit. You like bit. force your family to eat what you're eating because you're like, well, and it tastes good. I mean, it's not that he it's bad. Loves kind of, he yeah. loves rice. He loves brown rice. He is addicted to yeah. brown rice, always has been. So now I have to do, I put a little bit more stuff on his. Like of course, I, yeah. You know, but he he comes and brings us this t shirt yesterday and he goes, Is this too small? I said, no. Just you changing to the spray oil versus mm -hmm. the pour oil mm -hmm. has already probably... Well, he loves coconut. He yeah. Could, he could survive on coconut at all. I'm the one that has to get used to the coconut. He loves, co he loves yeah. coconut cake. He loves everything coconut. I wasn't a fan, but now... It becomes a flavor that you start to really love. That thing of cinnamon is literally just... I know. I know. I know. I, you guys um, see how I put the cinnamon. I like pour it like till it's brown. Well, the, the, the idea that... I took two tortillas for a meal. I took two oh, tortillas. Oh, how did you like the tortillas? We never talked about it. Fabulous. Two tortillas. I put my dried sardines in it with some yes. salsa and I wrapped them up. And people go, what is in your... So at delicious, work, right? What is that? I said, it's sardines tortilla. And they go, huh? I said, it's delicious. You don't even know. And so I gave one to one of the girls. Guess who's addicted now? Yeah. 
because I'm, I wasn't missing anything. I felt like I was eating a taco. It was a sardine. There was, and the salsa covers up whatever. Yes, yes. So that's how I ate last week. Now, I, you know, um, my problem, and it's most it's probably everybody's problems. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I cut down. Okay. Um, on my on my wine drinking at night. Okay. I'm down so that to little wine situation still. Well, I looked up the calories and the sugar content. I don't care what the calories or the sugar I know content. That. Okay, but I looked it up. So, after I looked it up, I realized a four ounce pour of red wine, which is better than white, is seventy five calories. And I thought, ew. So, you know. So you're drinking. A but, no, I'm. I, I was at two. I'm down to one. Every other night. Okay, so I need you to commit, and I'm videotaping this, so you better be doing it. This next week, uh huh. You better write this down. No wine. <gasps> That's it. We're on our. What week is this? Well, this is only week four. Okay. Remember what I said at week four? I said yes. we're gonna give it a couple weeks. You're gonna start getting in the swing of going grocery shopping and eating you know, different kinds of foods and eating every three hours. Well, here's what I've been, you know, because Look, I- you're even using your planner. <laughs> using everything. She's following. <laughs> I'm an escrow officer, I'll follow instructions. She's following instructions. <laughs> um, it's so nice, like now I know how coaches feel when you, they tell you to do something and you do it. <laughs> you like, know why what? I follow it? Because it's there. It's, it's fun to do too. Like I, I mean, we're a different. planning family. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Got addiction to projects and planning. I love making lists. That I, never I mean, that's our thing, right? So, so it, my, here's the thing. Okay, so all week I did great. And the reason that now I, can, I think I can do without the wine next week is because I've been doing so good. And you don't want to mess it up. I put on a pair of jeans on Friday to go to work because it, we have a casual day. And I got this pair of black jeans out of It's not even my gold jeans by any means, but it's a pair of jeans that I have not. Jeans in general. It was, well, it was a pair of black jeans that I called my fat jeans from a year ago that I couldn't wear. And I wore them on Friday without having to. Struggle. Struggle. <laughs> the struggle is real. We're going to put that right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you laid, you know how you have to yes, lay down? So, yeah. Okay, well, I didn't have to do that. And well, that's kind of good to know. Because right now, I just, just to make sure you guys know, this is, we're not like dropping like tons of weight, right? This, that's not even the goal right now. Right now, it's kind of like whatever organically happens. I do have, I did calculate the macros for the calories and the fat. So it is calculated. So the additional things that you're doing or taking away, it does affect it because I am calculating. I didn't just give you a bunch of food to go eat and figure it right. out. So I took your weight, I took your height, and I calculated how many calories and fat you should be intaking. I mean, it's like, it's a formula. I mean, it's, well, and here's people think it's like some sort of weird science. No, no. You, if you eat it, it, it's like, that's how much you get out. And, and you're right, I am not losing a ton of weight because it's coming off slow. What's, what's happening is I'm, I, I can notice how I'm wearing my clothes. You should be losing half a pound to one pound a week. Well, I'm losing more than that, but because I have. I understand days. because it's you're just starting. You're right. I'm, I mean, I. But no that way. is where it should be. Right. If you are, this isn't like, do you know what I mean? It, it's not crash diet. No, because what the beautiful thing about that is, is that next year you will, it will stay, it won't change. That's it. You're changing the way you live, and I can already tell. Like, in a year from now, you're you're not going to be able to wake up and not have breakfast. It's not going to happen. You and now you see that. It doesn't need to happen because I think a lot of times we think, well, you know what? I'm just not going to eat it because then that'll save me my calories for later. And I mean, to be honest, I mean, that's how I used to think. Like, well, if I just skip my lunch, then I can just add that to my dinner. Okay. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I know it doesn't now work. Now it does. I, I tried it and it didn't I, work. Yeah, I tried it too. Believe me. I tried it for a long time. I used to eat shakes and tuna. I'm like, that's all I need. And yeah. cheese, powerful. Oh, and cheese, yes, and wine. I also drink and, a lot of wine. And, you know, and, and I because I'm I don't you know, if you lie in your journal, you're really only cheating yourself. So this is true. Did you so, guys hear that? <laughs> um, so yesterday we worked in the garage. I mean, we had, you know stressed out. I didn't, you know, seven o'clock came and I said, oh, I don't have my meal ready. I'm not. I I, I don't want to cook. So we went to El Pollo Loco. 
okay. and it's written in El Pollo my Loco is a good choice. And El Pollo Loco, and I love it. So I, I looked in the menu, and they have this whole new menu of like under 500 calories or whatever. So yes, looking. and all their chicken is uh, grilled on the yes. grill. So I told her, I said, you know, I want the avocado salad, but no cheese. Make sure there's no oil on there, and um, you know, and I don't put too much avocado. I just need like you know a couple slivers of. And she gave me exactly what I asked for, and I ate the whole thing, and I thought. Wow, this was... Okay, so I ate the same thing you just ordered when mm-hmm. I went. But what did you notice about it that you that you had never noticed before? What was the first thing when you ate it and you go, that was delicious, but it was really... What was, what, do you, what did you feel like? Anything with your taste buds? It was... Um, I don't know what the word is. It, it was... Uh, it wasn't... You know, it wasn't like it was spicy or anything because I put a lot of cilantro on there, but um, it was just delicious. I mean, it was salty. Yeah, that's why. Salty, because you're not used to eating salt. I remember I got done, I was like, why am I so thirsty? You're right. It has so much salt. So you're more, you're more tuned to Yeah, that. but I, I'm it's not, only, but... it's only been like four weeks for you, but as you go, you're going to be like, this is so delicious, but oh my gosh. Oh, I know. And that's why it's so tasty. Well, at first I thought the salsa was salty because I don't, I'm so sensitive to salt. Because this one does not have a lot of sodium no, at all. No, it doesn't. No. It's just spicy and it's just because you're... I remember even Adam, when he was tasting it, he's like, this is really good, but oh my gosh, it's salty. Because they have the brown rice bowl now. Mm-hmm. El Pollo Loco is a good choice if you guys have El Pollo Loco. But good choice of where to go. Mm-hmm. Because you can still go out, you know, and make... We love it. It's right up by our house. Well, it's, my dad loves it too. It's brand new and it's... But I like the grilled chicken because that's how I make chicken. Yes. I mean, so it's like, okay. So but that's okay. Yeah. Now, okay, I, what I do want to hear and everybody else wants to hear, what was your cheat treat last weekend? Aside from the wine that you drank, which I'll pretend I never did, never heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'll tell you that was my cheat. Just the fact that, um, no, I had, um, well, I had a couple glasses of wine, but, you know, uh, the cheat was... We ate, uh, I had my salad and... You didn't eat any chips or anything? No. What else, what else, any sugar, any sweets? No sweets for sure. I don't do sweets. I, I don't really like sweets. So I did not eat sweets. I think, oh, um, I had french fries. That's usually what my was, my treat was. Hey, I had french fries. We stopped and I, I said, I got to get an order of fries. I almost went to in and out Burger, but... Uh, oh, that sounds so good. I know. <laughs> and that's my cheat. So, you know, next week, that, that's going to be my cheat because I'm that's where I'm going. And then you know what's going to start to happen? So I used to do that, too. I used to actually go to... Um, where did I go? I made Adam go to... Oh, Five Guys. He go to order fries or whatever. Um, but then I started... I was like, you know, I'll make my own. So then I would buy, like, the potato and I'd make my own fries. And then it turned to sweet potato fries. And then I started putting cinnamon and, and like... After a while, you don't need it. You don't even want it anymore. And then I started craving granola and yogurt. It, I started wanting fats, and I noticed it switched from potatoes well, to. Well, usually, anytime I've ever tried to lose weight, the first thing I want is I want bread and I want pasta because I'm not getting any carbs. This time, I. You're filled with. Everybody thinks that you don't eat carbs. Whenever I'm eating like this, they're like, so you just don't eat carbs then? I'm like, actually, every meal has a carb. It's yep. amazing the lack of sugar and salt. You don't realize and it. And the control in the fat. Yeah. That's really all I've cut out. All right, so you guys heard the spiel. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys because um, she's going through it just like you guys would be going through it. I mean, this is her first time doing this. Is there anything else that you can think of that stands out that, like, how is all the food, like the chicken and... Um, I love the bison. Oh my gosh, I forgot to ask you. How did you like the bison? I, well, I made it the way... So the bison has a little extra fat. Yeah, but I made it with lots of cumin and... Delicious, paprika. right? I mean, I love to cook. So I mean, I put but the spices. bison is tasty. Jim probably loved the bison. Loved the bison. And the way I cooked it, it, it still stayed a little bit moist inside. Yeah. So it was delicious all week. It's really good. It's, it's tasty. It's really good. And, and Jim, I didn't even tell Jim it was bison until after he ate it. I mean, it's lean. It's, it's leaner than beef. So if you're going to buy beef and make hamburgers... You... But it's not gamey. No, no, no. It doesn't it, taste... It doesn't taste gamey. No. Um, I think, you know, if I had to take one thing out from last week, because I did it on my own, so, uh, you know, I didn't do... But I, the weight stayed below the threshold. And yesterday, I mean, this morning I was up a pound because I don't know what I did. But uh, So I'm not looking really at the weight. I, it's there, so I just walk by and get on it. But 
Yeah, I'm it's staying not down. Well, where are you now? Well, uh, what were you this morning? This morning I was uh, 177. Okay, and where did you start? 183. Okay, that's perfect. That's actually more than. And this morning, I, because you know, I've had breakfast and I've had water, and I, you know, I had my salad last night that was a little bit off, you know. Okay. With the salt, I think. That's okay. Some... Yeah. No. Always. Always. But I think I, I swear to you, the the one thing that it is is staying is the just knowing the different substitutions. Yes. To add variety. Okay. So. And get creative. W are you hungry? How's your hunger? No, I'm never hungry. Okay. But when I'm hungry, it's time to eat. Yes. Then that's, <laughs> that's a, that should be a t-shirt. It's you, I'm never hungry, but when I'm hungry, it's time to eat. Oh my gosh, do you guys. Oh my god. That's huh, I think we have something here. I think we have Did something. Did you guys buy a t-shirt? <laughs> go team go team E. Well, you know, here's Auntie. Auntie. I'm never hungry. But when I'm hungry, it's, it's time, time to eat. eat. <laughs> It's really good. Did you make that up? No, it just came up. But it's true because I, otherwise, I'm fine. Every three hours is long. Now, if you stay up late, that's when it happens. That's when the, you know, nightmare happens. Because then it's like 11 o'clock at night. You're like, I'm done with my meals and well, I need I'm more I'm not food. going out to clubs. I'm not going out. Yeah. So I'm staying home and yeah. I'm, you know. All right. Oh, I, and I got on the beast. I, my elliptical is Oh, I was going to ask you. So you did some cardio. Yes. How much cardio did you do? 10 minutes? I started minutes? out with four minutes and then I died. And then I went to, <laughs> I mean, I could lie, but I'm not. No. So then I went to five minutes. Okay. And I was out of breath. But then I How did, many days? Oh, I every day. Every day? I, well, I've, yeah, pretty much every day. I didn't do a couple days, but every Would day. you say three, day, three days this week? I, I did it. Last week? Th last week I did it four days. Four I'm days. Doing okay. Four five minutes. But now I'm up to eight minutes. Perfect. With a three minute cool down. Well, there you go. There you go. And okay. so, and my elliptical is a beast because it's like. You know, Very good. But then I'm on there and then Jim gets on. All right. So let's, we're going to make some adjustments to your food. Oh, we are? Okay. Yes, we are. Okay. What am I eating this week? And then um, I'll fill you guys in. No All right, guys, we just finished the meal week four. And as you can see, no wine. No wine. No wine. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> All right, guys, you didn't hear this, but say it again. I don't want to disappoint my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I told her, I was like, you need to do this because you got people counting on you and you don't want to embarrass yourself. I don't. No, but what I didn't tell her, and I, I'll tell you guys first before oh. I tell her. Um, we're at the fourth week mark, and at the fourth week mark, we take pictures. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we have to take one picture that we're willing to show people. As long as I'm not naked, I'm good. But you know what that does during your fourth week? What's that? It makes you be on point because you know you have to take a picture. Uh-oh. Hello?